Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more EU4 Lion of the North, playing as Sweden. Ate a bunch of land away from the Livonians and took Riga. We did take Peskov, but uh, ultimately couldn't take much more than that. Thank you, Muscovy, for being a bit annoying. Actually, more likely, thank you, Poland, Lithuania, for leaving me high and dry to die. But you know what? Now is your opportunity to make up for this nonsense, because we might be able to go ahead and take out Denmark. It is time to kill Denmark, I believe. Now for this, I'm gonna wanna have everyone stack up on me. Poland, your navy in particular, would be very helpful. Cause we need to take this out. The question is, do I need to get an admiral? I'd really rather not spend the 49 of my diplo power on that because I'm really close to getting the diplomatic reputation, which will allow me to start the annexation process of Novgorod a heck of a lot faster. So please no, please no thank you. Actually, our alliance with Poland and Lithuania is rapidly reaching an end because I'm going to need to fight them for some missions sometime soon. What I might want to do is abandon the relationship with them and join the HRE. See if we can get, like, the Emperor on my side to help or something. I don't know. Really wish anyone else would ally me, though. Apparently, people just don't like the Swedes. Go freaking figure. All right, let's go ahead and pull back our diplomat. Our general died at the worst moment. That's fine. We have a backup. And Poland will accept if I give them land. Um, I mean, no, not going to do that. But I will happily ask you to prepare for war. Or, I could give them some money. The money is actually an easy way to do this. And I can save those favors. Let's send them some ducats. They're not going to be in as much debt. That didn't work. They didn't pay off. Okay. Well, enjoy your money, I guess. Uh, Alright, let's ask them to prepare for war. There you go. That'll work. Probably. Okay. And remember, if we can, I want to take out Gotland as well. Sax Launberg doesn't scare me. I need the Polish Navy to assist me here. Okay, they're blocking me off here. That's normal. So, Poland wants to attack, and I will assist. If we can win this naval battle, which we can, we can get across. And that is the end of Denmark, just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. It was fun while it lasted, but goodbye. Let's keep our fleet here. Um, we do not want to have anyone go very far. Okay, we can get some tech cost reduction. That's pretty good. Hate to lose diplo power, but in this case, it's actually probably worth it. I think it lasts for what? Ten years? Was that what it was? Lasts... No, way longer than that. I'm sorry. Thirty years? Yeah, that's going to pay for itself easily. That is going to pay for itself. Holy crud. All right, so the Poles are going through and killing everybody. That's great. Novgorod's opinion or Denmark's opinion? Who cares what Denmark thinks if I'm actively trying to kill them? You explain that to me. More papal influence? Sure, why not? I'll take it. So I got claims on a lot of this stuff, Poland. I don't know what land you wanted me to offer you, to be honest, but uh, I would like you to retract that now. All right, once we take this capital, we're going to have a big naval engagement. I hope your guys are ready, Poland and friends. Because this is going to be a big fight. Should be fine, though. We will have to get over here and take Bornholm, of course. Can't forget Bornholm. Very important. Okay, here comes the navy. Help, guys! Thank you! That'll do. Let's go ahead and send some troops over this way. We are going to take Bornholm. And they're going to get wrecked. Just a moment. Goodbye. That's 100%. Where is Sax Launberg? It's being sieged down. Perfect. So we can get Diplo Rep, huh? Unconditional surrender just happened. Hello. Right. Well, hold on. Uh, wait, no. Um, wait. Hold on. Because I can't, I can't hold off on this for very long. I have to now declare the war against Gotland. 
and land over here quickly and take out these pirates because this war is about to end. And this is my chance to get in here and do something. Now, I feel like a 25% war score, I think that's kind of like technically it. Like, they can't join after the war's made a certain amount of progress, but we're gonna try this nonetheless. Wow, they got a big navy. They got 12 freaking galleys, dude. Come on, we can win this fight for sure, right? Yes. Okay, and then I just need to siphon over a couple more troops. And that'll do. All right, call for peace. Yes, I know, I know, I know. And now I think at 30%, I feel pretty comfortable leaving this. All right, Bornholm, Shellens, take the islands. Not taking Holstein. We are going to have you return territory to Novgorod. I'm already annexing that anyway. Coalition is definitely there. And then you give me money, and we're done. That'll do fine. Perfecto, me likey. Okay. So we got the key province that I desperately needed here. Now, unfortunately, it does send Kronberg down into disrepair. Not happy about that, but oh well, what can you do? Still sending a few more troops over here, and we're set. Okay, so your port is already being blockaded. This is as good as it gets. This is a surprisingly well-fortified little island. Just saying, surprisingly pretty good. Let's mothball the forts. Don't need it anymore. Royal marriage. Get that back, please. Keep this going with Poland. We need to stay friends. For at least a bit longer. So, Denmark. Um... I do need to eat the rest of you at some point, but what do we gain as far as our mission? So, what we needed to do is the fall of Denmark. I need to destroy them completely. We need to own Osterland over here. This one. Okay. Should have taken that. Didn't, though. And Denmark cannot exist or doesn't have any territory in Scandinavia. So, basically, if you take everything north of Schleswig up over here, in Schleswig-Holstein... Uh, we'll be able to finish that mission. And what does that do? Gives me a level 2 center of trade in Skane, and also upgrades the center of trade in two other locations. Up to a maximum level of 2. See, this is smart, because my immediate thought was, if I save the money and get these up to being level 2, will this bump them up to level 3 and I'll have early, like, world trade port things? No, they thought of that. The maximum's level two. So it's not a way to sneak out a, uh, a world port. Smart. See, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> so, um, the, the lead dev for EU4 and a lot of stuff now, he goes by the name Big Boss. Uh, he used to be the dev for some pretty serious mods, including, I believe, Flavor Universalis. So, he's uh, fairly well known for creating some really good, well thought out, uh, uh, mission trees for a lot of these nations. Really well thought out. And unfortunately, I can't seem to outsmart that. Alright, what else do we want to get? Uh, some production would be great. Tax, probably not as important. Can get a little bit of extra manpower going. Coastal defense doesn't excite me. I think we just mostly want production using some of my excess money. Uh, we need our navy. Where'd you go? Hello. Okay, so we can take... Well, okay, I was gonna say... I have to do this, because if I fall below 40 prestige, we have a problem. Um, I want to send my trade ships out, but I just realized there's still a pirate navy hanging around. We're about to finish that, though. So, Gotland, hi, how you doing? You thought you were protected by Poland, but you was not. You was dead. Goodbye, and the coalition is completely fine. Give me your 30 ducats. Bada boom. National decisions. Repay the debt to the clergy. Lose my prestige. Lose my papal influence. But it's fine, we got rid of the debt. Hooray, we have stabilized the kingdom! What's this? There's an event called the Crown of Poland. Hold on. Hold on. First off, are you still an elective monarchy? They are. Interesting. So I can support my heir, my dynasty. Interesting. What does this do? 
The Crown of Poland. While our ruling family is legitimizing their rule over Sweden, the nobles of Sweden put their eyes on their neighbor to the south, the Kingdom of Poland. Next to the consolidation of Scandinavia and the route through Russia, Poland is the last path of expansion for our country. I don't know about last. I mean, there's still Germany. However, not everyone of nobility agrees on the statement highlighting the value of a strong Polish ally in the South could bring. Others point out it would be possible to get a member of the Vasa dynasty on the throne of Poland and a personal union. Oh my god, that would be insane. Follow a policy of dynastic ties for Poland. This will change the requirements and the rewards of the mission, the Kingdom of Poland, down over here. To the following. The ruling dynasty of Poland is Vasa, have at least as much prestige and legitimacy as Poland, and then as a reward, we get a restoration of the Union Casaspelli. Oh my god. So, now you always can do like the use your favors to try and put an heir on the throne thing, but with the elective monarchy, I don't think that works. I think the only way this works is if we support an heir of our dynasty non-stop. And the second that happens, as long as I can get my prestige and legitimacy up, which I can do, prestige has been a little tricky, but I can find a way. If we can do that, I'll get the war goal to take not just Poland, but Lithuania as well. And just like that, I would own all of this. Holy crap, what are my other options? Conquer them the old-fashioned way. Mm. Fifteen provinces of the Poland region have to be owned by me. Do that, gain power, gain Polish as an accepted culture, and every province of the Poland region loses autonomy and years of separatism. Uh, okay. Or, we have no business but an ally. If they're allied and married to me with 150 opinion, which they kind of already are, we need to get their trust up, then we would get diplopower and splendor, and we become historical friends, and they would never betray me. I think we all know what I have to do. And it's the King of Poland. So, we have now different requirements based on my choices. This is a dynamism in the focus tree you don't normally get to see. So we need to get the ruling dynasty of Vasa. Need to have more prestige and legitimacy than them. Or, or, if we fight them to the point where I take 20 provinces, we would get the restoration of the Union. That's interesting. It's just one of the following has to be true. Either we do it diplomatically, or we conquer 20 problem, uh, provinces in the Poland region. But that's like most of the Poland region. So diplomatically is obviously the better way to go. Huh. Well, this will be interesting then, won't it? Huh. Ha ha ha. 17% chance. Claim strength increases by 0.25 per month. Huh. Well, we'll just keep doing this for a bit. Uh, I just got... Oh, I guess I did just take an important trade power over here, didn't I? Ooh, that's a new great project. Visby City. What does this one do? Local shipbuilding, hostile disembark time, privateer efficiency. Really good if you're still a pirate, then. Otherwise, not that important. Got it. Okay. Huh. Well, guys, I think you all know that if I can find a way to take over both Poland and Lithuania in a personal union, I will be an unstoppable power. I will skyrocket up to being the number one world power, I'm pretty sure. God, I would make for an amazing Holy Roman Emperor if I do that. Holy crap, would that be awesome. Right, well, we'll see, we'll see. Let's not get too excited about all that yet. Um, we're, we're counting our chickens before they hatch. I don't even know if I can pull this off. But if I can, holy crap. Hey, let's go ahead and collect from tr uh, some trade over here. We don't need... Um, would it make more sense to... Mm, 
Yeah, we don't need to keep trade steering in Krako. Let's go ahead and start collecting over here. I think we'll get more money that way. Trade goes uh, down, interestingly. Okay. Well, it's not by much. Um, We'll get some marketplaces to help with that just a little bit. Trade favors for ducats. I don't have much to offer you, I'm afraid, so no. Huh, huh, huh. 17% chance to gain one support every month. I have not had to worry about the elective monarchy in a very, very, very long time. What helps boost up my chance of getting claim power? What boosts it? Is it just if I have high legitimacy and prestige? Something else? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Uh, over here, I think we are going to concentrate development and then we are gonna go ahead and turn this into a state. And then over here, we are going to do local trade power for sure. Which is going to boost up my control of the Lubeck trade node by at least a bit. Still not as much as you might like, but it's something. Elfsborg is an important trade center here, huh? Okay. Too few rivals, or we have more options? Okay. Uh, la 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 la. None of this makes a lot of sense. I could rival Castile. They already hate me. Who hates Castile, out of curiosity? Poland does. So does England. Oh, not vassalization. Hold up. France is rivaling me. Come on! It didn't have to be this way. Alright. It's fine. Not worried about it. Let's go ahead and take you guys and drill for a bit. Rebels, we do have Danish separatists over here. We'll have to worry about them later, but for right now, we're okay. I'm not going to take these into states. Not worth it yet. Social mobility. Make the burgers gain influence. Advisor cost reduction. Yeah, I hate this. All right. Could go for some tech. Yeah, I know. I've got disloyal clergy and stuff now. Let's uh, make them loyal again. Haha. -ha. Build a church in Nyland. I can do that. Or make England like me. I plan on doing that. Yeah. I actually already want to get their opinion up to, uh, oh, hello. Castilian Civil War is over. Do they get Aragon out of curiosity? They did not. They've been eating Aragon instead. That's interesting. No personal union, huh? Um, we have a relationship slot, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and start improving with England. Try to get them to be friendly. Another advisor available, National Unrest guy. I mean, I guess it's fine. It's not, like, really important, but it's fine. Harsh life on the ocean, new decisions, religion. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Are we making any progress on this? We are, it's just very slow. I'm gonna do local missionary strength and let's speed that up. Sale of titles, no, give me power. Okay, so progress is a lot higher now, excellent. Just don't feel like wasting an absolute ton of money on this stuff, you know what I mean? Alright, I'm gonna keep this navy where it is for now. I could start disbanding some of it, but I actually would like to continue having a decent navy. Uh, we may need it to contest the poles at some point. We've already got ourselves up to four claim strength. To their 13, we're gaining. We're definitely gaining ground. Naples is also gaining ground, but now I can get up to 20% chance per month. So, whoever has the highest, then, if the heir dies, uh, gets their dynasty? Is that how it works? I don't know. We're just going to keep trying. This may take a century. I don't know. This may take several generations, but we're just going to keep trying. I'm probably just going to have, literally, my diplomat doing this for the entire campaign until I meet the requirements and I'm able to snag Poland. It's, it's too good to pass up. Envoy travel time? Nah, don't care about that. I would love to get the tech costs boost, though. Before I have to go and pick up a new... Discipline guy, here we go. Before I uh, grab the next round of tech, I would love to make it cheaper. 
Let's swap over to an admin focus for a bit so we can speed this up even further. Tech cost reduction's gonna be nice. Got it. Just in time to make everything else a little bit cheaper, including that military tech. So how are we doing here with um, Novgorod? We are 86% of the way complete. Time to get tech, doop doop. Okay, sickness of the king. I don't like the idea of getting um, monthly autonomy change, so I'm gonna have to go with the national, well, wait, hang on. No, this was not autonomy related. Okay, hang on. First off, I don't, well, I guess we'll keep this fort here for now, but I don't really want it. Actually, I don't want the fort at all. No, just get rid of this. Um, my autonomy change, 0.125 per month. If it's going down generally by 0.125 per month, I can afford to do this and it's not going to hurt me. And we just get some loyalty with the burgers instead, which is like, okay. Why did we stop supporting my heir? Hello? Why did we stop supporting my heir? Did it reset? I think they just had a succession. I think they did. Okay, so now we're starting fresh then, which means there's a good chance I can catch up. I have a 19% chance to make progress. Improvements in trade technology. Diplo power. Yes, please. I can become defender of the Catholic faith. That'd be fun. Hmm. I don't know if I really want to do that. It depends. Um, the Ottomans are currently attacking Catholics, so probably not. <laughs> All right. Nothing for me to do then, uh, for now. We're sitting here waiting on Denmark. Um, I've got... Ooh, I can get an alliance with England. Let's do it. This way I am not relying entirely on Poland. Okay, so we got that. Good. More splendor. What do we want? Transfer subjects. Um, none of this is useful to me. I guess we'll take the adaptive combat terrain since I think Stockholm is considered grasslands and there's a lot of grasslands we can fight in. Start improving relations with some allies. Burgundian succession is done. Hesse has just taken all of Burgundy, and Burgundy just inherited all of the Low Countries. Okay, um, Hesse. That's a strong- oh, you're fighting against England, an English consequence. Oh, good. You have to defend against England now. That's a real test of power. Um, no. Yeah, so that's interesting. Strong potential Emperor move, but at least it didn't fall under Austria. That would have been a heck of a lot worse. Elfsborg, I think I'm going to go ahead and boost you up. I'm going to boost you up. I want some natural harbors to upgrade. Okay. Not going to upgrade these down over here because I know I'm already going to get that anyway, even though Shellen would be normally my preferred place to go. That's going to get me a lot of extra trade power in this region. Which does me only so much good, to be honest, but still. I think I would like to actually steer some trade out of here, because nothing's coming north. We're already collecting here, I think it's gonna be fine. Let's transfer some trade, send some money up this direction. We lose very little as far as collection, but we increase the value of the mode, and downstream we increase the value of the Lubeck node, where I am collecting as well. Not with, like, as much power, but still. I think it's alright. We're making 22 ducats a month? Frick me! So how much is it gonna cost me to upgrade this mine? 2,500, huh? Okay. 2,500 gold in order to upgrade this, huh? Okay. What was my mission here, by the way? We had to build like a church. No, we didn't, we already finished it. I need to see some land, don't I? Yes, I do. Do that, strong likelihood of upsetting some of the estates. 
Well, we're about to finish off with Novgorod. Let's hold off on that. There we go. Integrated Novgorod. Done. Boom. Bye. OBKB. Missions. Window to the east. No. This one. Devastation. And we have to have the centralization edict in Novgorod and Notburg. So this is the Novgorod state. Turn you into state. Or... Concentrate development. We lose a lot of development. No, alright. We turn it into a, a core. Um, okay. Centralization effort. That's what it was, right? Yes. Don't really care that much about that, but alright. And then the other state was... Where's the other state? Noteborg. There it is. Oh, it's in Southern Karelia. That's fine. So we just have to swap you over then. Boom. And devastation needs to be less than one. There's devastation? Oh yeah, sure enough, there is. Build a great palace. Sure. For cheap. Right, okay. So we now have to wait for this to go down. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, let me do a quick check on something, though. I want to see if there is technically a faster way to get rid of devastation. The answer is yes. A fort will do it. To a degree. Um, but also, development apparently can help reduce it as well. Winter Palace. What does this one do? Institution, yearly absolutism? Oh, hell yeah. Reform progress growth and institution spread. Love all of that. So, yeah, um, if we do some development... Yeah, look at that. We brought that down, and that's less than one, therefore we click this, and now Novgorod is an accepted culture. And boom. Okay. Well, that freaking works. Uh, and now, I've got some claims here against Muscovy. It's actually not as much as I was expecting it to be, but it's something. We could definitely push down towards Moscow. You take away Moscow, really, then Muscovy doesn't have much. Huh. Well, we're core all of that, for sure. Let's go ahead and move my troops to go join their new friends. And I feel like we're probably over our naval capacity. We are, but not by a lot. I'm gonna take a couple of these, and we could sell the ships, but like, I'll be honest, I hate selling ships. I know people are like, ah, sell the ships, you can find someone to make a little bit of money. And I'm like, I'll make like 20 ducats or so, maybe less. And sitting around here trying to find someone who's willing to do it is, like, really annoying. So, no, thank you. Rival France, though? Okay, we're rivaling France back. This isn't going to do me many favors, though. It's just going to upset a lot of people. England and France don't even hate each other. It should. What about the historical rivals thing? Oh, wow. We have a lot of territory that we need to convert now. We can do that. <sighs> to a degree, anyway, we can do that. So now I've got three heavies. Hmm, hear me roar. Be very, very afraid. So, Shellens, hi. We're going over here now. And I'm pretty confident this is where you're going to fire off. Question, can I just go ahead and, like, antagonize you now? Provoke a revolt. It'll be 13 regiments. That's fine. However, gain 10 years of separatism in Bornholm? What? Alright, tell you what, new plan. Let's not provoke them at all. Let's just do it for free and uh, push them back down to zero. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I remembered that that was a thing, because that actually would have been really stupid to do. Okay, cool.
cool. We got that. Uh, trade, yes, let's go ahead and pick some of that up. And for taxes, there's at least a couple decent provinces there. And then other than that, where's another trade province I'd love to upgrade? Great question. Uh, over here in Pskov, that's not a core. Or rather, not a state. Um, I don't think there's anything I can upgrade, really. Not easily. And upgrading my al uh, vassal doesn't do me a lot of good, because once I integrate him, I'm pretty sure it goes right back down by one level anyway. Okay, so forget that nonsense. What we should do instead is train up cannons! It's got like six of them! It's gonna increase how much money I spend per month, but you know what? That's fine. I'm making plenty, and cannons make uh, everything really easy. If I've got artillery and my enemies don't, we win. Oh, wow. Hello. Great project upgrade cost gets reduced for 20 years. It definitely would pay for itself if I plan on doing this soon, but I don't have time for that, so sorry, no. I can't guarantee I'm gonna have 20... In this case, it'd be more like 1,800, 1,900 ducats in the next 20 years. I can't guarantee that. I'd like to guarantee that, but I can't. And I'm not taking out a loan on the potentiality that I'm gonna do that someday in the future. It's just not gonna be a good option. So let's see, my truces are only with Denmark. Now I really do wanna to go to war against Muscovy again. So we're gonna just hop over my get a couple of forts up and running. We're gonna go kill them. They're currently fighting someone anyway, Bashkiria, perfect. You're distracted is what I'm hearing out of this. We could call in Poland, um, but do I want to? Uh, maybe. I'll think about that. But we have to end this video because we are over our time. I've got seven support so far. We are halfway up there as far as support. Yeah, it, there's definitely going to be an RNG aspect here. This is going to be really weird. Uh, I'll do some research and see if there's a way to kind of cheese this to try and force my dynasty to get onto the uh, the air slot, get fast-tracked in Poland. I suspect there's not. But if there is, you freaking better believe I am going to pull out every freaking stop I've got to force these guys into a personal union. abso freaking lutely Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.